All right, folks, the next morning, guess where we are? It's Mark's, the infamous store that sells chock full of nuts decaf coffee because you can't get it in Michigan. My aunt used to live in Columbus and she would come here and get it for us and bring it up. So I got, that's a nice Suburban, nice dogs too. Um, Mark's bag I bought and then in the Mark's bag is a whole shitload, I think eight of, they only make them small. They don't make big containers of decaf, but I got, I think eight of them. There's the CB, so yeah. We're gonna hop around back and go to Giant Eagle because I wanna go there before we leave. And then we're gonna go see Irv's place. All right, folks, I'm gonna have to drive and film here, but we just went to, you're gonna see it, but I parked a little close. That's tight. All right, we just stopped at the Giant Eagle. This is the one directly behind Mark's. Um, I really only came in there to see one thing, which I'm not gonna disclose on camera, but it smells like sort of uh, pet shit, I guess is the way to describe it. But yeah, now we're gonna go, I don't know where we're going, but yeah, that was Giant Eagle. Not much special. It looked like a Kroger and a Pet Smart fucked and had a child. All right, folks, we're getting close to... This is not the apartment he lived in when he died, but this is... Well, I'll have to insert the picture. We found an old driver's license in his house from 1980-something when we were cleaning out his house, or my dad was, and it had the address of 630 West Market Street on it. So we're going to that address, which I looked it up. It's an apartment building. So pretty much when we get there, we'll see, I guess, one of the apartments he lived in. Why are we stopped? It's a busy town. One of the apartments that he lived in during his, well, life, because he pretty much only ever lived here his whole life. So, yeah, I've got 0.6 miles. Oh, wow, that driving school was using a Kia Rio to teach people how to drive in. That's not safe. And it's fucking snowing. I don't know what the temperature is. The car says 36. So, yeah. Um... There's the map where it is, but if we had taken my car, I would have had a windshield mount to put my phone on, but we took this one. Here's the brick streets, the infamous brick streets that Akron has. There's an old movie theater. I'm going to try and turn into the place when we get there, but it's 0.4 miles, so we're less than half a mile from there. This is the downtown part of Akron, like the very downtown part of it. That guy's trying to back out. This would be a nice little town in the summer, or even if it wasn't snowing like yesterday. There's an old Toyota truck, that's cool. All right, I think we're coming up to it. It's a good location for an apartment. Um, if in you 1, were- 1,000 feet, turn right onto Beck Avenue. This isn't it coming up though. I feel like it's going to stick right out. So, I think I see a street sign. Yep, I do. Turn right onto Beck Avenue, this then turn one. left. Beck Avenue. This is a great location for an apartment if you were going to live here. And then turn left, then turn left. Wait, here? She don't mean there, I don't think. Maybe she did. Well, shit. Well, fuck. I fucked it up, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Look at that old truck. Well, fuck. Southwest All right. Avenue toward There's an old Toyota. All right, folks. Now, this is 630 West Market Street. So I'm going to go ahead and park in this parking lot that has no spots. Actually, it does. There we go. All right, folks. So this is the apartment building that he supposedly lived in. And I'll show you here, I brought it with me because I wanted it. Here is his driver's license from 6-3 of 81. So this was taken on his 27th birthday. And there it is, 6-30 West Market Street, Akron, Ohio. So this <laughs> is the apartment building that he lived in. So this is place one we have, at least when he was 27 years old, he lived in this apartment building somewhere. So this is um, place one we're gonna look at. Now we're gonna go to, I think, his house next. So apparently his house is actually only two minutes from here. So we are just gonna film the drive back and forth. So this was his, this was one apartment. The, uh, the place we're gonna look at, it's a Victorian house that was converted to apartments. Um, I need to turn, I don't know what she's telling me to, okay. 
This is why I brought her car so I can wreck it. All right, now we need to turn right. right onto West right. Market Street. Then this turn is busy. Left onto Rhodes Avenue. All right, I see a break. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Wait. Yep. I need to turn left, so we'll get in this lane. I didn't realize that they were so close to each other, but I guess it makes sense being oh, that. Oh turn shit! Left onto Rhodes Avenue, then turn right onto Merriman Road. I didn't realize they were so close to each other because you know back there is just where Beck was. So yeah, I mean I guess it makes sense. He didn't move very far, and the person who bought the house. Did you say six oh eight or six oh? Six thirty. Oh. No. The person who bought, yeah, they're brick roads here. The person who bought the house bought it in 2003 and then I think converted it, so that's probably about how long he's been living there. Turn right there. onto Merriman Road, then turn left onto Mount View Avenue. That's his address. I can tell you his address because he doesn't live there. It's 80 Mount View, not Mount Vernon because that's different. And then, oh, I need to turn right, don't I? Turn left onto Mount nope. View Avenue. Where's Mount View? Right here. Oh. Yeah, I know. So here is Mount View Avenue, and yep, it's brick. And right up here, In it's 600 a, feet, your destination will be on the left. Yeah, it's a brick road. It's yellow. Slow down, I am. Yep, these are all Victorian era houses. This road sucks. I don't know why they put brick in, but they did. That's 52. 53, no that's 58, all right, it's coming up then, because that's, they're going by, it's this one up here. destination is on the left. I'm gonna, it is, nope, it's this one right here. I'm gonna pull over right, it's this one, I think. So that is it, that is 80 Mount View, and he lived in that apartment, number one, right there, that's the one on the first floor. We have video footage going in that place, so there's a top one there, someone parked, he parked right around side the building. And this was it. This was the place that he called home for many years. So I'm gonna go and take a few pictures and that'll be it for now. We're gonna go see Uncle Jonas's house, but I just wanna get a drive-by here. He was the one on the left. He was the first floor apartment. That's it. That was the place that Irv turn lived. Right onto Weber Avenue. And, and this right stick-ass road. These are old houses. All right, let's go to Jonas's house by Mark's. You've been to it? Yeah. I don't think, no, I don't know if I can stop. Oh yeah, Never mind. Yeah, I, this is kind of a main road, so it's at the corner of a street. This is my dad's uncle's, wait, great uncle, right? It's coming up. His it's great, down. wait, is it? Pull over here to the right. Oh, is it this one? I think it's the second one. So Your destination your is on the right. Signal right. There you go. Oh, it's this one, 216, right? Yep, yep. Just keep your signal on. And Let me put my hazards on, because this is a main road. All right, folks, there it is. I don't want to stop for too long, but that is Jonas's old house. It's very, very, very small, as you can see. And I've been in that house. All right, folks, this is my grandmother's father right here. And then I'm gonna walk. I don't wanna walk on anything I'm gonna regret. I'm not gonna say the name of the cemetery because you don't need to come here. And then here we have my grandmother's mother, which is a little stone chipped. That's this one. And then we think Irv is over there. This is a little cute cemetery. This cemetery, again, I'm not gonna mention the name, but it's little, like it's really small. Got more space here to bury when the time comes. It's nice though. Folks, here we have, and yes, Holocaust survivors, Jones. correct. And Genia, Genia and Jonas, AKA Yona. He lived a long ass time. I remember uh, when he died, I met him a few times and there is Genia right there this is on the other side so yeah husband and wife folks uh we walked through the whole place and the first one here he is he gets to live next to my room this woman's getting uh dug up she died in 2004 but there he is somebody else is going here he's in a pretty open area so yeah i'm gonna get some pictures of him well, folks, I didn't record a very good outro to that, but that's uh, going to finish it up for the Exploring Akron video and seeing some, well, family members, I guess you could say. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click a like if you like what you see and follow me on the web, wix.com slash theelevatorworld slash fans. Bye-bye.